Hi guys, welcome to my video on how to make Lao Ma pasta. So first up, in a pot of boiling water, you want to throw in your instant pasta. And while that is going on, you can start to prepare your sauce. In a non-stick pan, add in some vegetable oil or almost any other cooking oil. Then to it, throw in some minced meat. Here I'm using pork, but again, and almost any other ground meat will do. Then break them apart into small pieces. Well, actually, you have been better to crumble them into the pan instead, but a uh, mistake is still made. So what we want to do now is to cook them through and get a bit of colour on them. After which we're going with some seasoning to which I'm adding white pepper and minced garlic. I won't be adding any salt here as the Lao Ma chili oil is pretty salty already. Then just stir them around, let them get to know one another better. After which I'm pouring about a tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine or Hua Diao Zhe. You can use any other cooking wine, I just like this one better. I like my food a bit more spicy, so I'm going to add more uh, chili powder to it, but it's optional really. And then of course, after the mix, add in the Lao Gan Ma chili oil. I'm adding about 1.5 tablespoons here, but adjust according to how much pasta you are intending to cook. Mix everything up, introduce everything in the pan to the Lao Gan Ma, and by now, your pasta should be about cooked. So combine them together, you can also use any other noodles you, if you want. And then importantly, you want to layer on some pasta water. This thickens up the sauce and helps it cook the noodle better. Don't worry if your pan is cooking a bit watery, the water will evaporate. Also, don't be afraid to layer on more pasta water if you think that the sauce is not reaching the consistency that you want. Just do it a bit at a time. And as you mix, it should be coming together nicely. About here, it's almost done. So you turn off the heat and get a nice clean plate. And then get yourself that spicy, savoury pasta. Of course, giving yourself a bit more for the 15 minutes of work that you put in. And a bit more than that. Oops. An optional step will be to sprinkle on finely chopped spring onions. And then we are done. So easy and so quick. This is one of my favourite things to cook when I'm hungry for a late night snack. If you enjoyed this video, please tag someone to make it for you. No, I'm kidding. Please just make it yourself. So easy and delicious, you won't regret it. Thank you for watching.